Your new movie also stars NFL superstar Rob Gronkowski. Did you interact with Rob a lot, and what was he like on set? Uh, yeah, he was, you know, he had a smaller role, but he seemed, you know, really cool. We had a scene together towards the end of the movie where he comes in as, you know, as a cop and kind of interferes with my job. Um, Mm. So it was, you know, it was cool to have him on set. I mean, everybody was, you know, super excited because they're big fans of him. Okay, now he's known as like a partier and a ladies' man. Was he wild and flirty on set or was he more professional? Uh, he was definitely professional. I don't think he had much time to be wild and flirty because, you know, it was a pretty extreme schedule. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, no, he was on his best behavior for sure, <laughs> at least from what, I, what I've what i seen. I don't know what happened backstage where I wasn't looking, so I, I can't say. Uh, but from what I've seen, he was a gentleman. <laughs> a gentleman. That's good to hear. So last month you posted a topless photo and a photo of yourself naked in a bathtub on your Instagram. You got a lot of backlash for that. Do you feel like people are making too big of a deal of nudity on social media? If you're proud of your body and and if somebody has a problem looking at your Instagram post, then they shouldn't be following you. You know, I think it's people love to shame bodies and stuff, but we as women or just as people should be proud of, you know, um, what we've accomplished, like, you know, I go to the gym, I work hard to keep in shape, and, you know, why can't I post a photo that that, that shows that I'm very proud of my body, and it's my job, you know, I'm a, I am I have my own lingerie line here, and I do bathing suits, and I think people just, you know, it's just easy to, I call it cyber bully people on social media, because they hide behind their computers, and, you know, people don't see who it really is, there's always going to be that one person that has to, like, hate, you know, so I don't, I don't let it affect me at all. I just focus on what I do in my life and, and, you know, my work and my happiness. Do you think it's like probably people that are unhappy with how they look, so they uh, attack you because you're confident in how you look? I think so. You know, it could be uh, multiple things. It could be somebody that's not very happy in their own skin or somebody that doesn't, you know, they're not in the entertainment business and they, you know, don't have, uh, you know, they don't have the balls to, to, you know, post a, a sexy picture of themselves, but coming from the modeling background, being a model, I think I have every right to post um, those kind of photos. Now, does it ever bother your husband that so many men gawk at you, or is he proud of you showing off your body on Instagram? Um, seriously, like you never know what what, what your um, other half is thinking. You know, to me, he always says that he's very proud of me and of my hard work and my dedication to the gym and just. You know, but at the end of the day, you never know what they're really thinking. You know, I think they want to keep you happy and build your self-esteem and uh, make you confident. But, you know, it's something that he would have to be asked. If you were single, what celebrity or athlete would be your biggest crush? Uh, my biggest crush would be, gosh, I, I, I mean, I'm blanking on his name, but the new Superman and then also the, the Fifty Shades of Grey actor, and I'm, I suck at not knowing their names. Uh, okay, Jamie the, Dornan. Jamie, Jamie Dornan. Dornan. Okay. So yeah, he's, Jamie, yeah, so he would be my celebrity crush in the second version of Fifty Shades, and not in the first one, because he's more manly uh, and scruffy in this one. And then the other one would be Henry Cavill, I guess. I oh. Guess the Superman. Do you still watch Real Housewives, and which housewife is your favorite? I don't really, I don't really watch the franchise anymore, so I, I wouldn't be able to give you an answer. That's in the past. I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> That's in the past, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you obviously have the ongoing lawsuit with Brandy Glanville uh, because she accused you of having a smelly vagina. How is the progress going in that lawsuit? Uh, I can't I can't discuss it. The judge ordered you to turn over five years of your gynecological records to prove your vagina was in good hygiene. Have you submitted those records and was the information from the records substantial to prove that your vagina doesn't smell? Um, any of those questions, you would have to talk to my attorney about that because I can't answer anything about the lawsuit. Have you had any direct interaction with Brandy Glanville since the lawsuit has been filed? I can't talk about anything relating to the lawsuit. Lisa Vanderpump went on the record saying she wished you would drop the lawsuit and let it go. Do you consider Lisa a friend? 
And if so, does it disappoint you to hear that she's not being more supportive? Oh, another question I can't answer. I'm sorry. Oh, you can't, oh okay. 